Tyler. We all know that IP cameras need to hook up to a cable or a Wi-Fi because it can access live video through your mobile device like your phone, your MacBook, or your PC computer. Now, actually, you can connect your IP cameras to your MacBook or PC computer directly. It can provide a better way to work on the cameras if you plan to broadcast on YouTube or Twitch. Now, there's no need to put your video through the network and it will send straight forward to your computers and you can upload the video to the platforms. Now today in this video, I'm going to show you how to send the video to MacBook directly. But before we jump to the video, please subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our updates. So today I'm going to use a wire IP camera. You can set the similar connection with a Wi-Fi camera which has the built-in hotspot. Now, I prefer IP cameras with cable connection for live broadcast because it can provide a much more smoother videos. Now, let's take a look what we need. This is our 4K IP camera with PoE feature built-in. Now it can be any type of IP cameras as long as it can supply the RISP command. We also need the Cat5e internet cable. This is a Cat5e internet cable with the standard network connector. This is T568B. Now it doesn't require any specific sequence for the connector as long as you can plug it into the computer and to the network and it will be fine. Next. We have the PoE injector. This is a PoE injector. It will provide both power and data exchange for the IP cameras. So you don't need to put the power source at the edge device. Now, this is the AC adapter port and we have the PoE port to connect with the IP camera and the LAN port to connect with our computer. And without saying, let's connect everything together. First, I'm going to connect the AC power port with the PoE injector to power it up. Next, I'm going to connect our camera with the PoE port. Here we go, the camera connection on this side is all set. And we are going to take the Ethernet cable and connect to our PoE port right here and next we are going to connect our computer with another cable let's plug it into the LAN port and now we are going to connect with our MacBook let's clear up the table a little bit Okay, it's easy for you to see. This is the LAN port to connect with our MacBook and the PoE port for our 4K IP camera. Now let's see. And I already installed the software. Let's connect everything tight. And it should go online shortly. Now, here we go. We can see the live, it's, the camera is alive, and we are set to go. So PoE technology is a safe technology in case you worry. The PoE technology provides low voltage power. The PoE injector will first convert the AC power into a low voltage DC power. And it also has power hand shaking, which means it will verify the edge device first. If your edge device is not PoE compatible, that means the injector will not sense the power at all. Now, if you cannot make connection with the cameras, make sure you check with two things. First, make sure your firewall is disabled or you set rules to allow your camera to pass through because the firewall will block the camera connection or broadcast message from the software. Now, the second thing is the IP setting. Now, MacBook cannot assign IP address to camera, and DC com PC computer doesn't have the DHCP function. 
So if your camera doesn't have the same network range setting as the MacBook, the software cannot establish successful connection to the camera. So usually we use a vendor specific software to change the IP address of the camera. In the earlier operation, I already installed the software on my MacBook, that's why it worked. Now, today we attach the IP cameras to the MacBook directly. If you want to know anything about how to live broadcast the video to YouTube or Twitch, make sure you leave a comment below so we will make the second video to elaborate the details. Now, here's the second, here's the video about how to set the Wi-Fi camera without involving the PoE and VR. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you next time.